Kelly Marie Alvarez here for Simon Says Stamp and I am so excited today because we are going to be featuring Merry Christmas that is coming back from the vault for Cyber Monday and today I'm going to be making a super fun double slider card with this set. So I've gone ahead and stamped out those two cute little mice and then my favorite stamp from this set which is that super funny and cute cheese tree. I just love it. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my Copic markers to color in these mice. And I love using warm gray for mice because they kind of look like a dirty gray brown and I just think it really looks cute on the mice. And what I like to do is to start with my lightest color, then I'm going to lay down my medium color and then my dark over top of that and then blend it down out with my medium. Now the reason I lay down that light color first is just to wet the paper a little bit so that these colors blend together really, really well. I'm going to go ahead and color in that little present there in some Christmas colors of red and green and then I'll be working on that cheese tree and I love Y32 and Y35 for the cheese tree because it kind of looks like Swiss cheese. So I'm adding some shadow around all of those holes in the cheese and then blending that out with my lighter marker and then I'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating dies, line those up with my stamped images and run them all through my die cut machine and I just love seeing them pop out of the dies. They're just so cute with that cute little white border around them. I'm using a dotted rectangle die here and I'm going to be cutting some mermaid cardstock and also some white cardstock to start creating my little snowy scene for these mice. I'm laying out my have a mice Christmas sentiment here so that I know where to put my simple stitch till side border here. I'm going to hold that in place with some low tack tape and run it through and now I've got a little stitched snowy hill. Now I'm going to work on the background for my card. So I'm taking the snowy backdrop stamp set and stamping it in some Yeti ink, which is white pigment ink, on that background. And I think it looks so pretty. Now I'm going to be using my mini Misty tool to stamp my sentiment. And I'm going to put the Hava and Christmas in Noble Fur ink and then the Mice in Lobster ink. And I love the red and green to go along with that red and green present that I colored earlier. Now I'm going to use that hill as a guide as to where to put my slide on over slider die. And once I have that in place, I'm going to hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through my die cut machine, and you'll see that I'm going to save the little portion that it cut out. And I'll show you how I'm going to use that in a second. So first I'm going to add that snowy hill there to my background. Then I'm going to put a ton of adhesive on the back of that little piece. I'm going to layer my base piece, that white piece there, behind it. And you'll see that I'm going to fit it right in there so that way when I layer these two pieces together, the sky will have a continuous look. So you'll see I'm just going to push that right into that opening. And then I can pull off the top piece. And now that'll be on the base piece ready to go for when I create my whole slider mechanism. So here I'm taking some scotch foam roll tape here and I am doubling it up because the little double thickness really helps the slider work well. And then I'm going to place this tape all over my card, making sure not to be in the way of those dimes that are going to be a part of my slider. So I'm putting that tape all the way around and then I'm also going to cut little strips of foam tape to go onto these pennies. So you'll see I'm going to put the, actually they're dimes, excuse me, I'm going to put the dime there and then put that foam piece right on there and I'll repeat it with the other dime. Now the reason I'm using dimes is these stamped images are pretty small and the penny was too big so I had to use a dime so that the stamped image would cover it up completely. Here is the EK Success Powder Tool and this is my trick for sliders. I run it all along the inside of the tape there that's on the dimes or the pennies as in the case may be and also I run the powder there in the track and this makes those little sliders slide really, really well. It's totally an awesome trick. I love it. So now I'm going to take off that little liner tape there and I can now add my mice to the dime. And you'll see that they're almost the exact size of the dime, so the penny would have just been a little bit too big. So I'm going to add a mouse to either side of the slider and now I'm going to take my cheese tree and I'm going to cover the whole thing with foam tape. And that's because that foam tape is going to be the stopper for the mice so that the mice stop at the tree. So now that I've got all that foam tape on there, I'm going to lay that right in the middle of my slider. And now I've created a double slider where the mice kind of come to the tree to bring each other a present, which I think is so cute. Here I have some perfectly plaid Christmas paper and I'm going to be using the put a bow on it die and this is the smallest bow. And I've got two pieces here that I'm going to layer. That way when I fold it in half, there's plaid on both sides. And then I'm going to coax the paper into a rounded shape just by putting it around a pen here. And this is to make sure that the bow is nice and fluffy at the end. You'll see how well it's going to work. I'm going to run some tape in the middle, glue one side of the bow down, add a little bit more tape, glue the other side of the bow down, and then I can wrap that finishing piece all the way around. And this little bow is just so cute. Now I'm going to fold this guy in half. You'll see that's why I put plaid on both sides of it. 
and then I can add my bow right to the top of that folded piece and it's just so cute. Next I'm going to trim a 1 8 inch piece of the same pattern paper and I'm going to lay that on top of the card and then put the bow on top so that it looks like we tied this paper bow all the way around the card. It is such a cute look. I'm going to peel off all of that tape and now line this piece on top of the white piece we worked on earlier. And then here's some more perfectly plaid Christmas pattern paper and I'm going to create a standard size card base of five and a half by four and a quarter. I'll add that beautiful pattern paper to the top of that and then I can take my whole slider mechanism and put it on top of that. And I just think this is so cute that the mice come to the tree. It's kind of a fun variation on a slider card because you've got two things sliding which is really fun. And this card just makes me smile and I think it would make anybody smile during the holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!